Ho, hey everyone, and aka Apricot Sushi here with a really exciting video for you today. As you can see, I've got the new 2DS XL Animal Crossing version that just came out in Australia, Europe, and Japan. This hasn't been announced for release in North America yet, but I really hope you guys get it soon because I think it may be my favorite 3DS model from an aesthetic perspective. It is just so cute. So today I'm going to just be showing you the system and giving my first impressions and comparing it to a couple of the other 3DS systems I have. First of all, let's take a look at the adorable box here. This new Nintendo 2DS XL, which has a mouthful of a name, is only in 2D, so no 3D capability. It comes with the Animal Crossing Amiibo update that came out, I believe, last year, the free update to Animal Crossing. So this is the full Animal Crossing game with all of the latest content pre-installed on the system. And the box is just so cute. I love how they include all the Animal Crossing characters, a little frog guy down at the bottom here. Do you see any of your favorites? I just love them all. <laughs> I love all of them. They're so cute. I like the koalas. There's a koala on the side there. So I won't be doing like a regular unboxing of this one since obviously I've already taken the system out. I couldn't wait. I had to see it as soon as I got it, but I'll just quickly pop it open to show you what the contents would look like. This one interestingly comes with the AC adapter. I don't think all of the 3DS models, especially some of the newer limited editions, they don't all come with the AC adapter to charge it. So you actually need to buy it separately sometimes, but luckily this one does. So you've got everything in the box that you need to get started. The, um, what do you call them? AR cards that come with the system. Does anyone still use those for the camera mode? All that stuff that you normally get with a 3DS system comes with this one. So now here is the system itself. I fell in love with this the second I saw the design, but I love it even more after I saw that it was etched into the case rather than like a sticker design or just sort of painted on. This is actually etching, so it's kind of 3D. You can see the buttons are this lovely mint color as well. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but I hope you can tell that it's kind of like engraved on the cover there. It's actually sort of a matte finish. It's not like glossy. The back is pretty plain. Oh my got some dirt on it. I'll have to clean that off later. That wasn't there before. <laughs> but um, yeah the, the front is really where the system shines and the buttons are even mint on the inside and then you can probably tell, I hope you can tell from the video, maybe if you compare the system color to the background that the power button is mint as well. The system is more of like an off-white than a pure white, so off-white tannish color with mint is just an adorable color combo. And then the volume on the side is also mint. I love all of the details. I actually did a system transfer from my original 3DS model to this one, so I've got my adorable Kirby theme on it. I have to re-download some of my games you can just get an idea of what it looks like. Of course, it's 2D only, so there's no 3D thing on the side to turn the 3D on, so you can only play your 3DS games in 2D, but I don't really play them in 3D anyway, so I don't mind. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to actually close this up and I'll compare it with a couple of my other 3DS systems. First of all, I've got my new 3DS, the smaller model. This is my Japanese 3DS. I love this one. I think it's my favorite 3DS in terms of form factor. As you can see, it's much smaller than this one. It's also kind of a glossy finish rather than the matte, matte finish I mentioned the new 2DS XL has. I'm not sure if that's how all of the new 2DS XLs are or just my version, but also this one is very glossy as you can see the original 3DS model, but the pink color, which is my favorite of all of them actually, about the same size as the new 3DS. The naming conventions on these are so silly, <laughs> it's very confusing. You can see the difference in size between the new 3DS and the XL. I think the 2DS XL is about the same size as the regular 3DS XL, if I'm not mistaken. So there, oh, we boot it up so you can kind of take a look at the screen. 
In terms of a form factor, I actually much prefer my new 3DS, the one on the right. It's just the perfect size for my hands. It feels really good when you hold it. It's got a little bit of a weight, a little heft to it, but it feels sturdy. Meanwhile, this new 2DS XL feels kind of plasticky. Maybe it's because of the matte finish. The hinge on the lid is quite wobbly. This is something that's kind of been a problem with all the 3DS models that I was hoping they would fix by now. Let's compare it to the new 3DS, which I think is actually pretty similar. Yeah, it's still wobbly. You would think they would have ironed that one out since they've done so many 3DS models, but I guess it's probably hard to make it foldable, but also sturdy. I've never actually run into any issues with the hinges breaking off or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just a little weird to have it wobbling around, unfortunately. So the new 2DS XL is super light. It's really nice to hold in your hand, but it does feel almost like a toy it's so light. I don't know if that's because the 2DS models are aimed at younger audiences, and maybe they want them to feel more plasticky. I'm not sure, but it looks gorgeous and I am super happy with it overall. But if I had to pick just one 3DS system, I think I would probably pick my new 3DS model here, the smaller one. It is just the perfect form factor for me personally. I guess I have a bit of smaller hands and I like the small, sharper screen if I had to choose one or the other. But if you're in the market for a new 3DS system and would like something light with the bigger screen, this new 2DS XL with the Animal Crossing design is definitely my favorite design-wise of all of the 3DS systems so far. If you like something with a little bit more form factor and a little heft, I really like the new 3DS. I hope this video has been helpful for you if you're interested in picking up any new 3DS models and I really appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so so you can get all my new videos when they come out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.